Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Uh, today's focus is on pulmonary lecture number eight, arterial blood ga gas interpretation, basic interpretation. It's done in three steps and we're going to talk about the first one found on NursingCamp.com, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Pinterest. And let's get into it. So the layout is, is what I find the easiest way to interpret ABGs is this ABABAB method. Now, the Avabab method is a method that you can use for basic interpretation. And just understand when you're looking at an ABG on an NCLEX question, that's the question that you, that's the um, question you want. And the reason I say that, because it's just like a lab value. If you know your ABGs, you just interpret. And it's just like a math question. If you know your math and nursing math, see my nursing math lectures, <clears throat> if you know your math, it's just equations. One plus one equals two, you know. So if you know that, then you can answer the question. And that's the good thing about it. But it's just a new skill to learn. And this ABBA MAB method is the easiest way to do it. All right, so let's set it up. So ABBA BAB. Now, A stands for acidic. Okay, so whenever you see an A, that is acidic. Whenever you see a B, that is basic or alkalytic and that's it now we set up pH first now the pH is normally 7.35 to 7.45 and that's blood pH right so um, that's a normal acidosis well or, or alkalosis that's how we know that body regulates it compensates to keep it within that range now when we're looking at uh, the next thing, we compensate by two different methods. The first method is lungs. Okay, that's called respirations. And that's where we get like respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, because it's compensating by respirations. That's why you'll see person increase breathing. And if they decrease breathing, generally their CO2 goes up, right? But that's another lecture. But that's the second column. That's called the PaCO2. And the last column down here, it's also regulated by the kidneys. Now the kidneys are regulated waste, right? So those kidneys, um, urine output, right? So uh, if there's a problem with the person urinating or you know peeing, puking, or pooping, um, it's going to affect this um, this uh, metabolic area. And wherever you see this column is metabolic. And this is metabolic. So down here is metabolic, and here is respiratory. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing we do is we look at the first pH. We're going to go through a bunch of these, and that's the easiest way to do this. All right, so pH is 7.35. Okay, so the pH is in here all right it's closer to this area right so we would circle this area okay because the pH is 7.35 and this is you figure there's a, a middle section 7.40 and then it goes like this so it's closer to this area so we circle that area the next thing is the PaCO2 it's 40 is 50 well normal PaCO2 is 45 so it's over to here then we look at the bicarb, right? So it's 30, it's over to here, and then we circle. So now all we do in the next step is we match the two that are alike. So we know the section is respiratory, and this section is acidosis. So this person has respiratory acidosis. All right, next one. Next one is the pH is 7.50. All right, well, 7.50 is greater than 45, so it's over here. And then the PaCO2 is 40. Well, it's sitting in here somewhere, okay? And then the HCO2, CO3, sorry, is uh, 32. Well, it's greater than this. And then we connect the two that are alike. All right, so we have alkalosis. 
whatever it is. And this is the metabolic, right? Did you say that this was the kidneys? And this section is, so it's metabolic alkalosis. So all you're doing is matching the two letters together. All right, so the next one. Now the pH of the next one is 7.60. Okay, once again, it's greater than, so we circle that. Um, don't worry about the PO2, we'll talk about it later. PaCO2 is 30, okay, so it's less than, so we circle that one. And then the bicarb is 20, well, it's in there somewhere. All right, we'll talk about that next step. Well, then we match the two letters together. Well, we know PaCO2 is the uh, lungs, okay, so it's respiratory, whatever the problem is. We match these two together, and because this is B, this is basic, this is alkalosis. So we have respiratory alkalosis. All right, next one. Um, next one is a pH of 7.30. And we end up, uh, we circle here because it's less than 7.30. Uh, the PaCO2 is less than, so we circle this one too. And then um, the bicarb is 19, so it's less than 22, so we circle this one. Well, we need to match the two letters together. All right, so this is an acidic condition, whatever it is, acidosis. And we said that these two sections, this is lungs, so it's respiratory, but it's not matching. But this one is, and that we said that that is um, kidneys. And that is metabolic. So we have metabolic acidosis. Okay, next one. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is um, pH is 7.50, 4.5. So it's in here, but it's closer to basic, so we circle basic. Uh, then we have the PCO2 is uh, 28. Okay, so that's over to here. And then we have um, a bicarb of 20. All right, so we match the two together again. We have an alkalosis. And we know that this is respiratory again. So this will be respiratory alkalosis. All right, next one. 7.28. Okay, so 7.28 is closer to this acidosis. PA702, PCO2 is 39. So it's in here somewhere. And then a bicarb of 18. Okay, once again, we match the two letters. Acidosis. And then this is the metabolic area. So, oh, kidneys. <laughs> um, so, metabolic acidosis. All right, next one. We have a pH of 7.45. Um, so, we're closer to here. We have a PaCO2 of 50. Wow. And we have a bicarb of 30 over there. Well, the two Bs go together. We have alkalosis, whatever the condition is. Then we have, um, this is metabolic, right? So kidneys, oh, kidneys really crazy today. Metabolic alkalosis. All right, and then the last one. The last one is 7.23 on the pH. So we look at where does that fit? So it's closer to this area. We circle that, then we have a PCO2 of 50, so we look at the PCO2, it's over to here, and then we have a HCO3 of 28, so it's in here. We match the two together, we know this is uh, respiratory, and this is acidosis, so respiratory acidosis. That's about it. That's general ABG interpretation. In the next video, I'm going to talk about um, partially compensated and uncompensated. Done from my sticky note, found on nursingcamp.com. Uh, uh, we'll see you next time. All right.